So you might be thinking of studying data science, but your CV is not good, not good. So you hop onto YouTube and you look for people who didn't have much experience when they started data science. So you can see what they did with their CV. And the first thing they say is, ah, uh, so I did mathematics or advanced mathematics at Harvard. It's like, okay, yeah, fine. You didn't study data science or anything like that, but you know, you went to Harvard that helped you, but I had a truly bad data science CV and I still managed to get a job. So I want to explain to you how exactly I went about that. So the first thing I did, I have a PhD in mathematical modeling from Princeton. No, I'm joking. <laughs> So let me explain to you why I thought I had a weak CV. I had zero years of experience as a data scientist, zero projects up on my CV, and I only had a half complete master's degree, which was a conversion master's in data science. So I wasn't optimistic about any jobs that I could find. But over a three month period, I applied for roughly 45 jobs, got five interviews and got my first data science job. So in this video, I'm going to show you my CV on my monitor over there and the tangible tactics I used to make my CV much more appealing than it was on paper and increase my chances of getting employed. And because soon I'll be applying to new jobs, I'm going to be improving my CV. So if you want to see how my CV changes for my next round of applications, feel free to hit subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. So I didn't have any data science experience, but the experience I did have was being self-employed as a sports scientist and having a business that completely failed. I also had my undergrad in sports science as well as decent GCSEs. I had an internship as a performance scientist. I had worked in social media marketing. And finally, I had a couple of certificates from DataCamp in SQL and Python. So because of my CV, I had to be realistic. I had to acknowledge that I was trying to break into the industry. The chances of getting a job offer from Netflix or Microsoft were extremely low. So I had to be realistic with my expectations and know that this is just my first job on a long journey. This meant that for this first job, I had to be conscious of how many people applied for that same job. I had to be willing to take on an internship, which was useful because that's what I was doing in my degree anyway. I had to be not too occupied with getting the highest paying job straight off the bat and I had to be willing to move cities. So now let's look at my actual CV and what it looks like. Okay, so this is my CV. I had my address, phone number, email address, LinkedIn link. And here I didn't have a website, a blog or a portfolio, but now I do have a personal website and I would potentially link this YouTube channel as well, especially when I start doing tutorials and stuff, if you're into that. Well, actually, if you guys want me to start doing tutorials, leave it down in the comments. So this was my personal statement, basically just showing myself in the best light and also expressing that my goal is to help the company. And also try to be genuine with the companies that you apply to. Like if it's a job that you're not going to enjoy, that might come across in your CV. So first of all, my half finished data science degree, what I'll do is strategically pick up which key modules I would include and get them to match up to the job description. So if I included a lot of SQL stuff, I would include my databases and information systems one. If it was more machine learning and AI based, I would include the applied AI one. And if you want to know all about my degree, I literally go through every single module and topics within the module in a 10 minute video. So I'll link it up in the cards and at the end. My undergrad is completely unrelated, as you can tell. But what I did is focus on the numerical elements of that undergrad. So biomechanics, technology and analysis, just include anything to do with numbers, included that and talked extensively about the numerical aspect of things. So collecting mass amounts of data that I had to analyze and interpret for use in the real world. Dissertation was again, the probably the only other heavily numerical element. So I included that as well. And even going down to my GCSE and A levels, I concentrated on things to do with, well, English is useful, business studies and maths. This even for the A level, business studies, maths, PE, less relevant, but English as well. So just emphasize the subjects which have to do with what you want to apply for. Right, now comes the important part. We're talking about experience. Right, social media marketing. When I worked at this company, I had to keep an eye on KPIs, reach, blah, blah, blah. You can see it written there. Feel free to pause it if you want. And then when talking about my experience as a sports scientist, I emphasize the fact that I was, solo, I was a solopreneur slash self-employed. 
So that gave me certain traits. I had to focus on my own business KPIs. I knew how important that was. I talked about the numerical element. I did have to do some light data stuff. It was just an Excel, but it's still data stuff. As well as talking about the soft skills that I picked up. As a performance scientist, which is kind of like a sports scientist, but you deal with the physiology and also video analysis, I guess. Yeah, I talked about collecting athlete data. This is heart rate stuff, blood glucose stuff, lactate stuff, and having to interpret that over a period of time, showing a bit of time series stuff there. Um, again, this is all simple stuff, but I'm giving myself the best opportunity. And finally, I talked about Python and SQL courses I did for DataCamp because that shows an intrinsic drive to want to learn and it shows that you're a self-starter. Just making my odds as good as possible, even with this unidyllic CV. And moving on from that, we get to the CV. So what's key is don't just throw your CV at every company possible. Actually take some time. Take an hour just to research that company. Look at their mission statement, their vision, their values. Most companies usually have a news section showing what they're up to lately. First of all, apply to companies that you're interested in, but also that's going to inform you what direction the company is. And recruiters will be impressed when you mention that within your CV and say, I can see you guys are doing this. I'm very curious about this because of that, or my skill set can help you achieve that because I can do X. So here, this middle bit that's blanked out, that's just always all about the company. So that's the customized bit. This part, again, I customize which modules I mentioned to go with what they're looking for in that job description. So again, customize, customize, customize. And then here I talk a lot about the social media uh, marketing job that I had, and you'll see why in a second. And here again, talking about the solopreneur stuff that I did, as well as working with athletes, because that's a, a fine margin discipline, much like a lot of data roles. Okay, all of that makes sense. Now, look at the job I ended up getting. First of all, it was an internship in a different city, willing to move, willing to take an internship. And then that job as an intern was at a startup. So that was informed by my experience being a solopreneur. Despite my business not doing well at all, I understood a little bit of the startup culture, KPIs, having to work on a budget, that sort of thing. I also talked about my experience working with social media and this is a company that does influencer marketing as well. Startup, influencer marketing, failed business, worked in marketing for, on social media. And then from their point of view, as an intern, especially as a startup, you have to pick up new skills all the time. Did Python and SQL on Data Camp in my own time, even when I didn't have to, even when I knew I was going to start a master's in data science. So that shows that intrinsic drive and willingness to learn things. And that's pretty much it guys, that's how I landed my very first job. And now I can say, as I begin my next round of applications, I'm filled with confidence because my CV is so much better. And I'm going to be guiding you through my next application process. And if you guys want to join that journey and my general journey from a newbie data scientist to one day being an elite one, feel free to hit subscribe, but I'll see you in the next one, peace.